Hello, every, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well. So today's lecture is on trying to put into use all the mathematics that we've learned so far. We've looked at how to solve a system of equation, but first of all, we looked at what the system of equation is and why we want to consider it, which is because it helps us solve some of the world problems. All right, so the first problem that we'll be looking at is problem number one, and it says the length of a rectangular garden is three times the width what are the dimensions of the garden if the perimeter is 32 meters? So what do we know so far? We know that it's a rectangular garden. We've been given the dimension, which is the length and the width, and we've also been given the perimeter of the garden. All right. So to make things easier, let's try to get a pictorial view of our problem. So problem number one, let's put down. Let's put down a pictorial view of our garden. All right, and then we know that the length of the garden is three times the width, all right? So if, if this is our width, then it means the length is three more of the width. So here will be three W, which will be the length. And since it's a rectangular garden, it means the length are the same. So if we have 3w here, it means we also have 3w here, and we also have a w here. All right. Now, what do we know about perimeter? Perimeter is the total distance around the object. All right. So if we put down the total distance around this rectangular object, which is the w over here plus the w over there, plus a 3w and then another 3w up there and it should give us the total distance around our object here so this is the perimeter and from the question it says the perimeter is 32 meters so this whole thing is equal to 32 all right so it's time to sum up we have w plus w plus 3w plus 3w which will give us 8w and this is equal to 32 therefore our w is equal to 32 divided by 8 and this is equal to 4 so the width is equal to 4 then it means that our length which is equal to 3w is equal to 3 times 4 and this is 12 so the garden, its length is 12 and its width is 4. All right, so we'll be taking a look at the second problem, which says, Margaret loves to buy shoes. Margaret has 18 pairs of shoes than Jane. Together they have a 184 pairs of shoes. How many pairs of shoes that each girl have? And this will not give the whole numbers for the answer. So let's end here.